This is our ordinary window glass. You can see that there's no tension in there. We don't see anything. This is what we're looking for. That's good. The second glass sample that I wanted to show you is called laminated glass. And if you look carefully in the center, you'll see there's plastic in the middle. This is a safety feature of the glass. It's used in car windshields. Now I'm going to show you in the polariscope. You'll see this is two pieces of properly annealed glass. The last piece of glass we want to talk about is tempered glass. This glass is reheated and then cooled down in a controlled way and you can see we've got controlled stress in there. It shrinks on the outside and makes the glass very tough. This is our bologna vial. They blow a little bubble. They leave a lot of glass down at the bottom and cool it in the outside air. As it cools, the outside shrinks. It puts the glass into compression. Inside, it's under tension, and that makes the glass very weak. We're going to break some glass, and I want to show you which is which. This is ordinary window glass. This is our laminated glass, and this is our tempered glass, and the blown vials over here. I'll pull back the plunger. You can see that this is sharp and pointed. Old cars had this kind of glass in them, and it was very dangerous in an accident. Now we're going to do our laminated glass. I'll pull back the plunger. And you can see it all stays in the same spot. And that way, if you're driving down the road in your car and a stone hits the windshield, all that glass doesn't come in your lap. This is our tempered glass. This is used in shower doors, side windows on cars. You can see when it breaks, it breaks into very small pieces. These are actually a lot safer than the jagged ones from the annealed glass. This is our bologna vial. This is the last thing we're going to break. I want to show you that it's tough on the outside. We'll hit it with this plunger. You can hit it pretty hard, and it's not going to break. That's that tough compression layer on the outside. If I turn it over, it's a little hole in the top, and we're going to drop this wire through. See it's got a sharp point there? And it won't take much, just a little drop down the bottom, and it breaks.